As we come to the end of our questions, it's time to begin our year. And I want to share quite personally with you this year. You see, every year, for the last 22 years, my wife and myself have taken a decision to begin our year as we intend to live our year at the Lord's feet. And so we've dedicated time in the first couple of days of the year to pray and to listen to the Lord so that the Lord can show us how to get to the end. And this is the most important step in reaching the goals that we achieve for ourselves. I want to read you one of my favorite scriptures. Psalm 37 from verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. So you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light and the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way over those who carry out evil devices. What God is saying is that if you take the time to invite him into your year, if you take the time daily to sit at his feet, to listen and allow him to guide your every footstep, then you will achieve the goal that you have set for the year. The desires of your heart will become realities. And you will grow. Remember, we don't grow in an instant. Growth is inch by inch, step by step. And the life dedicated to Christ is the one that grows. 22 years ago, the reading that God laid on our heart was Isaiah chapter 61. And for the last 22 years, we have seen so many of the promises that were given to us then become realities. This year, something really interesting happened. Jen and myself prayed separately and came together with exactly the same portion of Scripture. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight His paths. So I want to ask you to do that. To look at your life and look at the obstacles to you achieving and celebrating the grace of God in everything you do, to clear them out the way, to get rid of them, and make the way for the Lord to come and walk with you every step of the way this year, then you will be safe in the land. God bless.